guys, this is Leonardo and today our classroom is going to be about profiling. Today I hope that we can answer the following question. What to put in the FPGA what, and what to put in the processor. Okay, let's start. In order to answer the question, what to put on the PL part, which means FPGA, and what to put on the PS part, which means the R processor, we are going to use the profiler. Okay, the objective of the profiler is to create a list with the set of functions that are in your software with the time that the function has to execute. Uh, with this, it's going to be easily pointed out where, where you should accelerate. For instance, if you have a function that is taking 9% of the time and is, for instance, just calculation, this is a really, really good candidate to put in the FPJ part. Okay? We're going to see how to do this in a, and, and again, in a DTMF decoder and we're going to see this in the lab okay see you okay guys the first thing that we need to do is to change the BSP settings to allow profiling okay we start just by changing the standalone part and uh, we set the profile to be enabled and then we need to change the compilation of the drivers to have the minus PG option. After changing the BSP settings, we need to recompile the BSP. Then we go to our application, uh, we change the run configuration parameters, and uh, there you enable the profiler. Okay, after you enable the profiler, you can change the sampling frequency, the histogram bin size, and the scratch memory where the results of the profiler is going to be located. You need to take a little bit of care. To do not uh, use the, you do not override your own data of your program with this uh, profiling data. After you finish this process, if you execute your application again, a file is going to be created, and uh, just double click in this file, which holds all the information of the profiling. Now we just point to the L file generated. You wait a little bit, and a list will be created. I'm just going to move the window to show a little bit more to you guys. Okay, now opening the profiling window and uh, clicking on the plus, we can see that the filtering functions are the ones that are taking more time to execute. Those ones are the are really the best candidates that you can put in the FPJ. Okay guys, now we can finish the day. Uh, the next topic that we're going to cover is going to be about uh, using or and creating by hand uh, with very log a simple access stream IP core accelerator. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Uh, have a nice day.